In a significant step towards development of long-range next-generation hypersonic missiles, the DRDO has successfully carried out ground test of indigenous scramjet engine for more than 1,000 seconds. India and France will sign the 63,000 crore rupees deal for 26 Rafale Marine in the presence of French ambassador on 28 April. India has created a roadmap with three steps, so that not a drop of water goes to Pakistan. Russia has issued a travel advisory, asking Russian citizens to refrain from traveling to Pakistan. Indian Army has released to RFI for the procurement of counter-drone systems for BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles, at a supply rate of 100 units per year. The Indian Navy has deployed INS Vikrant aircraft carrier into the Arabian Sea toward Pakistani waters, and this move is widely interpreted as a clear warning to Pakistan. Recent satellite imagery from Karachi has exposed a critical vulnerability in Pakistan Navy, as three of its five submarines are undergoing prolonged maintenance, and are currently stranded on land. Pakistan's defense minister has openly acknowledged Pakistan's long-standing involvement in supporting funding and training terrorist groups. You do admit, sir, that, that Pakistan has had a long history of backing and supporting and training um, and funding these terrorist organizations. Well, uh, we have been doing this dirty work for the United States for about three decades, you know, and West, including Britain. The inaugural Army to Army staff talks between the Indian Army and the Royal Saudi Land Forces took place in New Delhi to boost defense ties, joint exercises, and military training. In a significant step towards development of long range next generation hypersonic missiles, the RDO's Hyderabad based Defense Research and Development Laboratory has successfully conducted long duration active cooled scramjet subscale combustor ground testing for more than 1,000 seconds at the newly built state of the art Scramjet Connect test facility. The ground test is in continuation of the earlier test reported for 120 seconds in January 2025, and with the successful test, the system will be soon ready for full-scale flight-worthy combustor testing. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a tender for the development of Tejas Mark II Iron Bird facility, which is a state-of-the-art facility designed to evaluate and simulate the integrated flight control system of the Tejas Mark II. The Iron Bird facility will enable rigorous testing and validation of systems by simulating real-world flight conditions, before they are integrated into the actual aircraft. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment will partner with GNUFS Private Limited to develop autoloaders for the Indian Army's Future Ready Combat Vehicle Project. The autoloader will automate the loading of ammunition into the main gun and will reduce crew requirements to three and increase firing rates. The integration of autoloaders aligns with global trends in tank development positioning the Indian Army to meet the demands of high-intensity rapid response operations. Today's Top 3 Comments